Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and yet another race with the F1 2019 mod. Today we are here at the beautiful Bahrain Sunset Edition circuit here today and there's going to be a, a day to night race pretty much here in the desert and uh, we're racing as the man himself, the porridge boss, level 200 boss, Valtteri Bottas, the man that won in Australia and uh, can he do it again in Bahrain? Let's find out. But all in all guys, hopefully you do enjoy the video. There'll be a link down below for the full F1 2019 mod which got updated yesterday and it's a hell of a big update. The mod is absolutely stacked now and I do urge you guys to go test it out if you haven't done so already. And uh, obviously this is only on PC. So if you have PC, F1 2018, then do test it out. I thoroughly recommend it. But with that being said, we're going to jump straight into a 25% race here at the desert in Bahrain as Valtteri Bottas and let's see how things go let's try and have a little bit of fun and let's see if we can have a decent little race and uh, you never know make it two out of two for the Finnish driver but all in all guys I'm going to leave you guys now with the race hopefully you do enjoy it and I'm going to leave you guys with Crofty now who's going to take you through the full grid for this race and uh, we're going to start from second place on the grid alongside Pierre Gazzi so with that being said enjoy the video guys drop a like subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the start of the race for the live commentary but for now take it away Crofty well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. A fantastic effort from Pierre Gasly yesterday puts him on pole, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton, and Vettel, Van Dorn, Grosjean, Hülkenberg, and Lance Stroll, Magnussen, Ricardo, Carlos Sainz, and Perez, Ericsson, Alonso, Kimi Raikkonen, Hartley, and Sergei Sorotkin rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Right then, here we go as the race as Valtteri Bottas here. Second place on the grid alongside Pierre Gasly. And as you can see, it's going to be a very, very straightforward run towards turn one. We've got the clear grid in front of us, front row of the grid, second place for us. And uh, pretty much we're going to try and do our best here today and try and see if we can try and compete with the guys around us and hopefully try and win. And once again, as the porridge boss, try and extend our championship lead if that's possible. So um, let's see how it goes. I'm having a little bit of fun with this and hopefully you guys do enjoy it too. In terms of the strategy, as you can see, uh, we are going to go for the one stopper as you'd expect with the super softs onto the softs, no rain expected, and also fuel wise, we are two laps uh, over on fuel. So, hopefully, the race should also transition from day to night time in this 25% race. So, hopefully, fingers crossed that plans out as I did it and it works out beautifully. But with that being said, we're going to jump straight into it here for round number two for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Let's jump into it. Right then, here we go. We're going to build up the revs and get ready for the five red lights here at Sakir. The lights are on. And they are off. Oh, not a good start. We kind of stalled a bit there. We got a good reaction to the lights, but then we kind of went into a bit of an anti-stall in the second phase. Down towards turn one, we're going to go down the inside here. Got Lewis on my left, my teammate. Got to leave him the room. We're going to go around the outside of Hamilton, and we're just going to hold on to that position. The clerk getting the best start. He managed to make the jump there. And uh, Lewis is all over the back of me, but no way through for Hamilton just yet. So, so far, P3 for us as uh, the sun sets here in Bahrain, lovely kind of sunset settings here, but Gasly leads in the Red Bull Honda. That Honda powered Red Bull looks pretty damn quick on the straights actually, um, based off of when I did practice, so that will that'd be quite interesting. Also Leclerc as well, looking quite sharp in the Ferrari. But so far, looks okay. I don't mind losing a place, but we can definitely work from here. And uh, we've recovered from a pretty horrific start. So uh, let's go ahead down here, get to work. I think we are gonna have good pace, but we're gonna have to really work for it. AI are going to be pretty damn quick. I want 108% AI as I always am around here because I can't do 110. The AI are just too OP around this circuit. It's probably their strongest circuit on the entire calendar along with Azerbaijan. So um, yeah, we're going to just run 108 for this one. But having said that, that's kind of on my limit anyway. So I think it should be, it should make for an interesting race. Either way, that one draws to a close. Look at the beautiful sunset there on the right hand side. Absolutely fantastic to see. But now we need to forget about the settings here and try and focus on the racing. Because right now, Gasly and Leclerc are absolutely on it. So here we go. Lewis is hunting me down. He's going to try and go to the, uh, to the inside. I'm going to go defensive and just cover the inside line for turn one. Lewis goes around the outside here. Little lock up on the left front. Lewis tries to go on the outside, but no way through. And we come out on top. Right, let's try and have a strong second lap here and try and catch up to the guys in front. Leclerc setting the pace. We are currently six tenths off that, so we're not really as fast as the two guys in front. The RS is enabled now. We've opened up a gap to Lewis. He's nowhere near me, so 
definitely seems like the front two are just really running at a strong pace at the moment because uh, me and Lewis can't match that kind of pace, at least not right now. At the minute, we don't have the pace. I'm struggling here big time. I'm not under pressure from Lewis behind, but the front two have got such a ruthless pace. I can't touch them. I really can't. The Chloe and Gasly are really quick. And also Vettel and Verstappen behind are not really making those kind of moves on myself and Lewis. So it's kind of just stagnated at the minute. But I'm working really hard here and I'm making no inroads to the two guys in front. Right, here comes Lewis then. He's going to have to tow on the pit straight. Verstappen's quite far back. We're going to have to go into hot lap. Go defensive. Cover off the inside. There goes Lewis. Right on the outside. Down towards turn one. Got to leave him the room. He's just about going to leave me enough room on the apex. Oh, it's very close onto the curb. Track extension warning here, but we're still side by side with Lewis. Racing up towards turn number four. We're going to have the inside line. Being careful on that curb. Lewis all the way around the outside and makes it work. Fair play. We're out of the final corner then. We've stayed within range of Lewis, so we should be able to um, maybe go for the rear overtake here. Let's find out. Overtake ERS in deployment. We're gaining. We're going to pull to the inside. Down inside of turn one. A little bit late on the brakes, but we are going to get the move done. Avoid him going around the outside and hanging it all the way around the outside of me. And there we go. That's a textbook move up the inside. And now Lewis is under pressure from the stab from behind. This is our scheduled pit stop lap as well. So we're going to come in this lap for the soft compound tyres. I've also selected a little bit more front wing. Um, because I feel I've got like a bit of understeer on the front end. So... I'm going to put an extra turn of front wing on the car as uh, Verstappen has now made the move on Lewis. So well, let's get ready for the pit stop since that. Into the final corner here, get ready for our pit stop. Let's turn everything down, make sure we save fuel on the RS into the pit lane here. We get it all slowed down and there we go, that's a pretty decent pit entry. Vettel in, Gasly in as well. Here we go, no hold ups please, come on. Away we go, there we go, 2.8, not the best stop you'll ever see, has to be said. Pretty poor stop, to be fair, from the Mercedes boys. Now we've got to try and switch on these softs, get up to speed quick on these, because the Vettel's going to be on my towel, I think. So well, the quicker we switch these on, the better. Here we go, out of the pits. Up to speed now. We're going to come out a little bit of traffic, which is far from ideal. We're going to slot in in between Russell and Kimi here, which is not what I wanted. Let's try and get up to speed on these tyres, which feel... Pretty, if we're not driving on ice at first on, on fresh tyres in this game, it really does. You need to try and be careful. Find the grip, see where it is. Right, I think we should be okay now. A little tweak of the brake bias once more, just to make sure I'm comfortable. And we're gaining on Russell here, look at this. A little screen freeze there, which is not going to help me out in the overtake. But we are going to get it done nonetheless. Right, we've cleared the traffic pretty early. Vettel still has to get past both of those guys, so... This is my chance to open up a gap to the Ferrari and also avoid now getting overcut by my teammate and also Max Verstappen. Let's push on here. Right, my teammate is in the pit lane. I'm guessing Verstappen will be also. As will Leclerc, I, I believe, also stayed out before. Here we go then, out the final corner, up to speed. There's going to be plenty of cars in the pit lane. It's going to be quite busy in there. So let's see where everybody is. Those are the midfield runners. And there we go, look at that. We've actually undercut quite nicely here and we're going to stay in front of Max Verstappen. Just, it's going to be closed, we have to go on the outside of turn one, the long way around. But we are still in front, we went a little bit wide on the exit there. That's my second track extension of the race, my line was kind of compromised through turn two. But we are back in front of a staff, we've actually closed the gap quite a bit to Leclerc, you can see how much closer he is. So, let's see with the, with the extra front wing now, I'm running two eight wings instead of one eight. Let's see if I have a little bit more grip and I can maybe attack a little bit more and maybe chase down Leclerc this time around. Lewis and Verstappen now going to battle as uh, Lewis actually re overtakes Verstappen, so that's good news. And so far, from what I can tell visibly, Leclerc isn't that much faster this time around. He's not miles faster than me. And I'm starting to feel more confident on these tyres already. These definitely feel better than the super softs. Let's get to work. Okay, personal best, only just. 29 0 once again, gap to Leclerc, two seconds. The gap isn't moving much, but we're going to keep at it. Okay, gap is coming down now, so we are making progress. It kind of feels like the order is like flipped on its head almost. Because I'm faster than Leclerc and Leclerc is faster than Gasly. So we're actually all getting closer together here. So this isn't over just yet. I think uh, there could be something in this if this pace kind of continues. Oh, VSC deployed. Right then. So I'm not really sure what's happened there. But VSC, that's going to give everyone the chance to 
save a little bit of battery and fuel and then turn everything up. Some information on Sir Rodkin. They've got a serious car issue. It looks like they're retiring. So it's George Russell then in the Williams. So uh, unfortunate one for him. Okay, so not the best restart has to be said. Um, I, got, I kind of got caught on the middle of the straight, which is uh, annoying. Look at the gap, 2.5. We've uh, lost a lot of ground there. I might just ruin my race. And my chances of catching up to the close is really annoying. The VSC has completely ruined my momentum. I'm all over the place now. And actually Lewis is catching up to me again. With two laps to go. I need to pick up the pace because uh, I'm in trouble here. I'm all over the place. My pace is just not good anymore. And I'm driving it not great, I have to say. Right then, on to the final lap of the Grand Prix. It's not going to happen, so I'm just trying to keep Lewis at bay, keep him out of DRS. Leclerc has also picked up the pace as well, so uh, we can't really match him at the minute. Right then, into the final corner. Gasly, under pressure from Leclerc, but I think he's just going to hold on for the race win. We're going to come home P3 and make it a third place for Bottas in Australia. After Australia, sorry, we get P3 in Bahrain with a personal best over the line. Not bad. Um, found some pace on that last lap, but also I kind of burnt up my fuel in the RS. But all in all, a decent race. Right, so here we have it, and the final race results are in. Pierre Gasly wins in the desert by five tenths ahead of Charles Leclerc. Very close in the end between those two. We get third place ahead of Lewis Hamilton, so we still get a podium for the Mercedes team. Sebastian Vettel, P5, and Max Verstappen rounding out Formula A, so to speak, in the second Red Bull car. Then we got both of the Renaults in seventh and eighth, leading Formula B with the Ricardo beating Hulkenberg, and then also both of the Haas cars uh, actually get ninth and tenth, rounding off the points. So fair play to them. Then we got both racing point full Indias there, or should I say, just racing point cars from now on. Uh, Perez and Stroll just missing out on the points. Norris, Kibitza, Kvyat, Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Carlos Sainz all the way down in 18th place and then Albon is the final classified runner of George Russell retiring as we saw a moment ago there and uh, yeah pretty much that is going to be it guys for this race as the porridge boss Valtteri Bottas here at Bahrain in the desert and if you guys did enjoy the video then please do drop a like there'll be a link down below for the mod for you guys to go download for yourselves on the PC and also subscribe if you are new to the channel for daily Formula 1 content turn on notifications to not miss a single video from me and finally check out these two videos on your screen if you have missed them but for that guys thank you for watching let's see my next video very soon but until then it's goodbye from me